Good morning guys or good evening wherever you are in the world and uh, yeah today is Saturday the 28th of November 2020 and it's a gloomy grey and miserable uh, Saturday morning here in Gloucester so um thought I'd get at the bench and just do a little bit of a, a fun review for you something I saw online um, and I just had to get it and the plan is at the moment my plan is to do a um, a sort of one part or two part full build of this kit for Christmas. So this is the kit here, bit of fun. It's a um, a toon ship Titanic and it's made by Meng as you can see. Part number is Mo001, which is weird Mo. I don't know why they've called it Mo, but uh, yeah, maybe Missouri or something. Um, I don't know, but there we go. We can see on the front of the box here, we've got our Titanic here. Um, don't be fooled by the box art. It's showing railing on here. It's showing all sorts of rigging and stuff. There's none of that in the kit. It's also showing wooden decks and it doesn't have that either. So uh, that's basically our box art. And what it is basically, it's just a simple, like you've all seen your egg planes. This is like basically a simple version of a Titanic. So I saw it. I got it from China. It costs next to nothing on eBay. So um, we'll have a look. So going around the box, we can see here, we've got here, it says snap fit design of decks. So everything's all... All the plastics all coloured and you can see it all snaps together. Uh, we've got pre-coloured parts for funnels, mast, deck, erection and hull. So as long as you want everything white that's fine but uh, I'll be painting this. Um, and we've got a combination of cute exteriors and numerous details. So uh, there we go. You can see we've got blanked off portholes there. So maybe we'll drill them out and stick a bulb inside or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a bit of fun with it. There we go. You can see on the box, as I say, MOE001. And then on the other side of the box here, we've got copyright 2020. So it's a brand new kit. And we've also got pictures here of the model made up. You can see it's very, very egg shaped. Um... It's gone for the three blades on the centre prop, so uh, that may or not annoy you. <laughs> uh, and we've got some history of the Titanic here, saying about how much it weighed and when it sank and how many people died and blah, blah, blah. So there we go. Um, so there we go. Let's have a look inside the box. It's a, quite a small little box. It's What is it? It's 230 by 160 mil, so it's not very big at all. And then inside the box, you can see we've got one bag of sprues. And then we've got our second bag with instructions in it. Nice little box, quite sturdy. Um, and there we go. We've got set of, um, some stickers in there, but looking at that, if they're decals, they're probably stickers. So as I say, we've got a bag of sprues there. And as we can see, quite disappointingly, the model is quite small. So what you'd expect is to be big, bigger than that. But uh, let's have a look at the instructions. I haven't looked at this kit at all. I've had a quick look through the bag. I haven't actually opened the instructions or had a good look at anything at all yet. So um, let's have a look in here. And we get our stickers out if they'll come out of the bag. There we go. So first of all, a little set of stickers. So we've got... I'm thinking they are stickers. Yes, they are. So just basically, you've just got three Titanic logos there. So obviously one for the back and one for the stern and sorry and two for the bow. So uh, there we go. So that's those there. Interesting enough, they haven't shown the nowhere on here. Have they shown the stickers fitted? So nothing there, nothing on the box front and nothing there. So uh, yeah. Anyway, small instruction booklet, staple proper book as you can see, which is quite a nice touch. And we've got the same image on there as we've got on the on the front of the box. So going through here, we've got some health and safety stuff. Don't swallow any items. Don't feed it to your dog. Don't go licking it after you've made it, that sort of thing. Um, and it's telling us here what tools we're going to need. So tweezers, hobby knife and side cutters. Sprue layout here, you can see we've got all the different colours. So, um, and we've got A to F parts and then we've got our three separate hull sections. And as you can see there, the stickers. So... Uh, all fairly straightforward good for little youngsters if you've got youngsters you want to get them into the hobby perhaps get them this kit for christmas and um and they can build it with me so we've got here um bottom hull assembly so we've got the lower hole here this is going to be in the red plastic so we're fitting on the uh, the props here so these are obviously separate parts going to be clipped on they will just clip on one one word of warning be very careful with using model cement with these plastics um, i have experience which you will see in an upcoming video of this. These models have the, um, it's a very funny plastic. It's kind of 
nylony, almost waxy like. And what I discovered when you put glue on it, it cracks it. So much like the, if you're familiar with Bronco models, um, some of their models have a separate outer rim. And I've seen some people build them and they put liquid cement on to run around the outer outer wall. They have like a, an outer tire tread that goes around and then the two side walls go in. And I've seen them put liquid cement on it, just everything just splits, cracks open. So it's almost like there's a load of stress in the plastic. And when you put a chemical on it, it just relieves it and all just falls apart. So be very careful with that. Um, so you've got the whole parts going together here and you've got the anchor on the front. So these are all different coloured plastic to give you that sort of nice coloured effect. And then we've got the superstructure assembly here, which is all straightforward. Got some lifeboats going on there. And then we've got the bridge going on the front. <clears throat> And then finally, we're fitting our funnels and our mast, and we got our crane on the front there. Uh, and then we've got the the mast going on the back and the docking bridge there. I'm learning these expressions slowly. I'm sure that's called a docking bridge. So um, yeah, that's it. Basically, we've got. It's, they're not even numbered. It's one, two, three, four, five, six steps to get the model built, and that's that. And then afterwards, you've got the here showing where the stickers go if you want to use them after self surface and that's basically that so that's all quite forward straightforward so let's have a look inside the bag oh blimey strong plastic so we'll just get all these parts out here so start off with the lower hull and yes this is that as i say that waxy type plastic you need to be very very careful putting your liquid cements on here as i say um, because it can go a little funny in fact we'll do a little test right now and we'll just see if it actually does split it and actually it seems that it may be okay it could be that the model I've already tried was a was a one-off but uh anyway test it first if you're going to use glue to put this together but um you have been warned so we've got a lower hole there and we've got our uh, plating on here with all the overlaps and everything we've got the um, inner and outer plating nicely depicted and you've got the flange joints as well, so that's cool. <laughs> um, I think the rudder's slightly out of shape, don't you? Not sure. Um, it's not quite right. And then you've got these little slots here where the uh, the shafts are going to go in. No hole plating on the bottom, little bilge keels. But uh, yeah, all there. <laughs> so that's the whole bottom. And then the next step up is going to be the black part of the hull. And again, we've got the um, we've got all the plating. We've got the upper section of the rudder. We've got support holes there depicted, but uh, not quite accurate, I don't think. Um, anchor positions on the side there, forward anchor there, which is probably nicer depicted than the actual Trumpeter 200 kit is. But again, we've got all the shell, pla all the shell plating with the overlaps, even though it shouldn't be overlapped up this high. Or maybe it should, maybe the uh, white part is going to take care of that. Um, but yeah, all very nice. So that's there. And then our next part is going to be here. So we've got the, this is our superstructure. We're going around the bow there. We've got the little cutouts here for our well decks and uh, portholes all the way around the back. Portholes around the sides. So yeah, we'll great big location tab. So it's all going to click together lovely. So there's our next section there. And then we've got the, this is our deck section. Now we're into our sprues. We've got our, our forward deck there. Got our well deck in there, we've got the aft well deck, poop deck on the back, got our cranes depicted there, and then we've got the bridge here, crane on the front, lifeboats with covers, a trumpeter. Um, yeah, very nice indeed. There's more lifeboats there, you can see separate little parts. So, uh, sprue connections are quite big, which is unfortunate, you know, when you think this is aimed at for kids, probably, um, or kids to build with their parents. But we can see it's all very beautifully moulded and we've got some um, not quite to scale um, planking there on the decking. But it's all there. Everything's there. So there's that sprue there. And then let's get this one. This is going to be our uh, A and B deck here. So you can see all well, that's They've got it all. <laughs> it's all there. You've got, it's the only Titanic fans. You can see you've got it. The, the, the covered insides here, which is correct. And then we've got the ends here open on the promenade. So yeah, all very nice. All very nicely moulded as well. Um, and then we've got our 
promenade deck here or a boat deck and then we've got the the funnel deck so I'm not sure is that that's the boat deck so what's that I'll have to look that up so uh here we go again we've got planking detail on there but um not quite to scale although there's anything quite to scale and we've got portholes all around the sides that you can see here it's all been slide molded yeah lovely a bit of painting and a bit of dry brushing and stuff i think it'll look great funnels here in the <clears throat> correct shade of yellow uh, and then we've got our masks there which again are in the correct shade of yellow um, and then we've got our props there but we can see the mast has got some lovely detail there on the steam pipes and everything mast did i say funnels i meant that's all nice and then you've got the funnel caps here and our anchors which is all nicely and cleanly molded you even got the blank top one for the false funnel just notice that dum, dum, dum. and also on here we've got the these are the little sections that go in the back of the hull for our props so there we go now as i say these decks are it's all there it's all beautifully depicted but the planking's a bit funny so i went a whole hog and went down the aftermarket route and got this and this is from a company called chuan yu chuan yu i guess in uh, in china and uh, available on eBay, I got this with the kit, and this is our wooden decking for this model. So we've actually got, I've taken the staples out, so it should be easy to get into. Um, should be in the operative word, it's absolutely welded itself in. Why can I not pull that out? Oh, it's because it's got a sticker on it there, here we go. So pull that out and we've got our wooden decking here which is very very thin paper backed I'm assuming it's going to be some of these but I'm not going to try it we've got some nice bits of spare wood around there and you can see on here you've got our wood deck in there with all the planking laser cut into it um, the only thing I'm concerned about which I'm not sort of I've noticed on the on the box you've got on the instructions here we've got our forecastle deck we've got our well decks here and then we've got this um, prom forward promenade deck there. And we don't seem to have that depicted in the model. So maybe we'll have to get some brown paint in there. Um, so that's going to be... That's going to be in there. So I'm guessing we're going to have to get some brown paint in there just to depict that deck in there. Otherwise we just have white plastic in there. But um, it looks like it's not on here. So we'll have to see. But uh, very nice. Then it was, it was only a couple of quid. It was very cheap. So... Um, all in all, there we go. That is our kit. Um, what have we got here? One, two, three, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three parts. Thirty-three parts stickers and instructions and then if you want to go for it you've got the wood deck as well so uh keep your eyes peeled around christmas time i'll do a little fun build one or two parts and then um and then if you've you know if you want to sit down and watch and join in whatever then you can but um the video won't go out until the whole model's finished i doubt if i'll put it on a base or anything i'll just probably build the model as it is and maybe stick it to a piece of card or something we'll see but um i just thought it'd be a bit of fun for christmas thanks for watching guys see you all soon bye for now